Okay, okay. This is the uh, episode six of Ugly Truth, Pretty Lies podcast. Uh, again, on this podcast, we're going over uh, dating uh, while single, however you want to put it. Uh, I don't know. Some issues we're covering this one. Um, black women uh, doing better than black men. Uh, the cost of dating. What's a good date? Uh, when to have sex the consequences of having sex uh, what are women looking for in men the benefits of marriage uh, why men tell these lies they tell because uh, obviously that's a problem from what we hear uh, so what are men doing wrong is a topic that we discuss uh, potential do women want to date potential because a lot of times men come to the table with nothing more than potential to be a good man so do men, women want to date that uh what else we talk about? Um, I don't know. Oh, we end with open marriages. A little slight little touch on that right there. Something I'll play out the last uh, episode with the polyamorous thing and all that kind of stuff. So, again, we got Adrian. We got Ava London. This time we got my boy Devin here. Um, I don't know. Have a little bit more of a good time with this podcast. It's a little more playful than the other uh, podcasts on this subject. So, I don't know. Check it out. It's good stuff. Subscribe again, like I said before. Uh, share it with your peoples. Listen to this uh, at a party. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could turn this on at a party and just let this play. And y'all can have good conversations doing the spade game or something like that. I don't know. Some topics on here a lot of people need to discuss. So that's the whole purpose of this podcast thing for me. You know, get these conversations out that I'm usually having, sitting at the table while we're having drinks and so forth. Uh, put them out there to the world because I think it's good information for the people to hear. And I think you people need to hear it. I think you people need to grow. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all ain't growing. Y'all ain't putting y'all brain together and getting this thing together. I don't know. I'm rambling. Whatever. Let's get to the podcast. Miss London, Hi. all that you've heard as far as uh, single relationships and relationships. Does any of this equate to a woman? Because we've kind of had a, a little bit of a, a, a bromancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you hear as a woman? What do I hear? Not as a little girl who never had sex without a condom. No. Yeah. What, what, do you mean? what do I hear as a woman? What do you What do you hear I as a woman? Is this something? Is this strange? Love conversation. Yeah. yeah. As, as for, from a woman, does this stuff sound strange to you? No, because I have male friends, you know, relatives, so I hear these things. So how do you have a relationship with such a guy if men are this way? Does this fit a woman such as yourself? Oh yeah, that's a that's a good uh, that's a good question. What way? Could you could you deal with the ideology that we that we've described? But I'm saying we've said a lot, so it's like that's But it all has a say I think it all saying has a certain I think it's a common thread. Yeah. yeah, so it has a common thread of uh, mature men. So that's what we're talking. Does it sound like a mature man to you? I mean, it sounds like a man that has evolved. I would say so because a lot of men won't talk about this stuff and be open or even transparent. Pause. Do you think that's true? I think a lot of men talk about this. Well, I'm I'm speaking no. from my experience with guys I that I've dated. I agree with her. I agree with her in a sense. I think that there are two types of guys, and I think that we fall into a category that is less than the other category. Mm. Uh, I feel like that a lot of guys are truly are insecure. They don't know how to express themselves. I feel like that they they want to say certain things and they want to. They, they just don't know how to do it. Don't know how. I don't know if they don't want to. They just don't know how. I, I just okay. I feel like they don't know how. Yeah. I think there's also a fear though, because there are there's a demographic of men who feel like women are out to get them, I'll, and so that they'll use whatever they say against them. Against them. I, I can see that. There's definitely a demographic. Well, how about of men this? Like that. Have you have you noticed that you and your female friends? Do you? You're not supposed to say female. It's supposed to be women, ladies. Okay, women. I'm sorry. You've been dipped in millennial juice. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that's the last time you're not supposed yeah, to be female. Okay, um, women friends. Um, do you typically find that you're doing better than the guys? I feel you like mean, this plays what, a part. In, in terms of like career. a career and financially? Yeah, because I find that this is also part of the problem. Um, not in 
I don't know. Not, I mean, not in my circle of friends. The guys you or see a like, better. or the, the guys that I come across or meet. I, I, I don't. I don't think that's a fact. I don't think that'd be true. Really? Mm. I mean, because I meet like a lot. That sounds of guys, strange to me. Well, I mean. I mean, I'm not saying, like, I don't meet guys that's just losers, but the bulk of men that I meet are, like, professional men, mm-hmm. have, you know, pretty good careers. I don't but know. also... <laughs> why, I don't, why don't I meet these guys? <laughs> well, no, my, my, I do... Well, the things, the type of things that I do, I think it's the demographic of, like, a, a network of, like, um, professional people. Right, 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 right. Because I, I typically find that one of the other issues is that the, the women are usually doing better than the guys. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, typically, yes. But that, like I said, it depends on your circles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go into the old 50, well, 50 yeah. not even open, but I'm just saying, like, if you go into, yeah. like, places like that. Mm. See, it's, it's, it's really hard. It just depends on the guys. Because, like, I hear a lot of women that I know, they're like, oh, introduce me to your friends that are in, like, uh, the tech part of mm. and I'm like that's not gonna work right. there would be no common ground like right. it's just the interests are so different I'm like I mean y'all could come around and if it work it work but I just don't see how it would mm. um, but then what ends up happening is that I have other friends who they would love your circle <laughs> and they <laughs> your circle is gonna mm-hmm. be a little bit above where they at right. and it's gonna be like y'all might dig them physically but it's just one of those things where, like, I feel like when you get into those type of relationships, then you have this thing where at some point he realizes you can survive without him and that he really needs you. Uber and drivers. <laughs> well, if that's their side hustle. That's <laughs> If that's their side uh, No. Um, yeah. I, I don't. I think it's a – and that, that – can go all kind of ways into different podcasts about why that is but yeah. it is a situation I think that uh, a lot of women are like this young lady over here just left would always talk about how black women are uh, the most highly educated per capita and Absolutely. that kind of things uh, and yeah a lot of my friends and a lot of people when they talk about unemployment rates and they say it's at 2.6 and all this other crazy stuff yeah. they're not talking about my friends Yeah, <laughs> they're not talking about the, my community my community unemployment rate is a lot different than this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, a lot of the men and then when women um, happen to be in situations where they don't necessarily uh, they lose employment, they can get jobs yeah. quicker. And I see yeah. that all the time. They women, like that they person stay, is my partner. They, 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 they stay with they stay with good jobs. Hey, they can switch jobs. They can yeah. lose a job and they, they get another a job. Different career. I mean, yeah. it's I. And what I found is that I have guys who are like, man, give me a job at your, your place. I'm like, dude, there's no way I can get you a job where I work. Like, mm-hmm. it's just, I mean, it's just different types of situations. But I just see, it seems like the, a lot of guys in our community struggle. Right. So, does that mean that they don't deserve a woman, though? Well, see, this is the article I was telling you about, like, with women saying that for a guy that they want to be with, and that's why I was asking you about requirements, that he has to be not necessarily above her, but at least he can't be, he has to be be able to at least sustain himself. But yeah. I think that's fair. Himself. Yeah, but let's, now I'm going to ask you this question. All right, let's say he can sustain himself. Let's say that he can sustain himself in a $600 a month apartment, but you want to live in a neighborhood that's 2500 Like, let's say that you could afford that by yourself. Now... You want to live there. You already know he can sustain himself in this. Mm-hmm. Do you just foot the bill for the rest of it? Or do you stay someplace different than where you want to stay? Well, do I... Do you ask him what's the plan? Well, there's an issue because clearly there, is, there has to be a compromise, right? Sure. I mean... So, but my thing is, if she can afford it, he cannot afford it. What's the expectation right there? Am I footing it? That's what I'm asking you. What is so, your expectation? So, to me, we need to kind of go somewhere in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. So this means that you would have to forego because what you I'm, could do on your own. But well, well, yeah. But also, if we're together, I also have to take into consideration that if I lose my job or he what's loses gonna his job, sure. what's going to happen? Can I support our household on one income? 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying the answer to all those questions are, are yes. Like, let's say, for instance, by yourself, you would be living here, you wouldn't be doing this. But the issue that I'm talking about is now, if he comes along and he can't really contribute to that, now you look at him like, well, this ain't really our stuff, this is my stuff. Well, that's the problem, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's a problem because you're not looking at the we factor. You're looking yeah. at I and what I want. But you'll be cool with looking at it and saying we, even if, let's say, for instance, you provide. I'm not going to do that because if something happens, that means if I lose my job, he can't okay, sustain, mm-hmm. like, um, our, our the household. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now we are in a worse situation financially. Yeah. That's so that, that, that doesn't make sense to me. So, but if you by yourself, then you cool. Cause you're I mean, like, if I'm by myself, yourself, because I only, have to just, right, yeah. I only have to rely on to take care of myself. Yeah. But if I'm with somebody else, we need to, we need to think about that. Yeah. Because if I'm making way more money than he is, I lose my job. Yeah. How do we eat? Right. I just come from a background Uber. where... Uber. Like, we talk Uber. about <laughs> yeah, still, you can't first of all you can't lose you can't lose these days 2016 yeah. i'm just saying there's multiple ways it's, it's, but you to keep a, stay afloat yeah. but it's but a lot you got of no times excuse. people don't even live within their means no you know what i i take that i i disagree with you on on in that aspect mm-hmm. too there was a point in time in my relationship where our monthly expenses was eleven thousand dollars a month that's hard now somebody lose their job how you supposed to do that? You can make that up. Get change lifestyles. You have to change your lifestyle. Like mm-hmm. you have to give up a whole bunch of stuff. And well, so that, I mean, there is like you know we have plans for escape, right. but like dude, that's just difficult to do. I guess piggybacking off of what 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 y'all were been saying though that now if you were the ones that was sustaining that lifestyle, and you happen to lose it for whatever reason, you also lost your woman. I feel like that. That's absolutely the case. <laughs> You you said, if, you're, if the man is the one that yeah. sustains that lifestyle, you got yeah. three months. Yeah, you got, you about, got three about three months. months. Yeah, you <laughs> got three months. You got three months. And then that three months, in a month and a half, she got a replacement already. Yeah. Mentally picked out, if not already, you know. Dick at the, dick dick at the gas the station. Yeah. That's my theory. You know, dick at the gas station. Say, she was going to pull up, pump some gas, and stay, and stay, stay, at, the, uh, stay at the pump. <laughs> Don't get no car. You can sustain $11,000 a month. Eleven dollars a month. Uh, that's a lot of bread. Uh, Tell me about it. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Um, I mean, I, there was, I never got up to that point, but I definitely got to some frivolous points. Um, and living, I would say, about out of my means. Because would you say at that point when you were living at, at that amount, oh, dude, were you me, outside of your means? So, well, part of it was from uh, things that happened in the past. So you paying for past mistakes. Mm-hmm. But aside from that, is I mean, I worked in trade. And trade is just a different environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody I worked with was like super ballers. And then the other part of it is like when you start dealing with people in different environments mm. and they invite you to different places, you pick up different tastes. And then to be able to just get your foot in the door, you spend spending different money. Mm-hmm. So when you're around those type of things, you kind of like get elevated just because of it. Right. And then like, you know, they're like, hey, we going to such and such. Do you want to go? You don't want to always be saying no. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. if you have the cash to go do it, I mean, you paying your bills, but you still, you know, no. you selling out money. It's like, and then you got, I mean, I had kids, you know, you spending $2,500 a month on daycare, like this. So it, it was a while, it was a lot for a while. Then I had to figure out how to, you know, get this thing situated, fixed. This nigga got me battling with him with Jordans and shit. Oh, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It's not a battle. Hey. I, was a, I was jealous. Oh, I got, I got, I got he got those space jails and shit. That's a dead in itself. Right, that's a dead. That's, that's my dead. <laughs> but no, nah, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the financials in the relationship, I guess we didn't touch on that. All the other stuff we was talking about. The financials on the um, relationship and being single. Being single is expensive. Oh, Dang. dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, look. So, I remember, this is going to talk about your girl. I remember we had a conversation a long time ago on Facebook, and we was talking about asking chicks out on coffee dates. <laughs> Low Etta. Yeah, we, gotta, we have a theory about this. We're gonna she get. went, she was like, I don't like coffee. Uh, no, I want you, I want to get dressed up. I want you to take me on a real date. But can you imagine as a dude going on one or two dates a week, spending $100 each time? I think that's no, stupid. Much. 
to do that or for the girl? No, I think it's stupid. Who, but for who? To go out oh. to for a guy to be spending a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I think that's stupid. Yeah, but I will say I find that there are like um, prerequisites before you get to a final date, which is let's go to co- let's have coffee, let's go to Mariano's, let's meet at Mariano's. I think that's dumb. You can actually oh. That's what that's. Going that's to Mariano's is dumb. I ain't tried it yet. Yeah. <laughs> in oh, theory, though, you want a pre-date. Going to Whole Foods sounds yeah, pretty I cool. Wanna, I wanna, it's a pre-date, though, but yeah. but you're getting a pre-date because people don't even talk on the phone anymore. You know what I'm saying? So you don't even oh, know you if you're vibing with that person. Texting. So you're doing a pre-date mm-hmm. because we don't even know if we have a chemistry. I think chicks vibe with me better in person. But, so you want a pre-date? Well, it's two things. One, I think I need to talk to you enough. Well, before I call you on the phone, we mm-hmm. have some kind of rapport over chat, or I already know you. If I call you on the phone, it's because I'm interested. If I don't call you on the phone, I'm still trying to figure it out. We talk on the phone, then eventually I'm going to ask you out. Now, based off of our conversations, we'll determine if it's a coffee date or if it's an actual date. But it doesn't even have to be that deep. We, Wait, can Paul, just meet, uh, we can just go to, like, we can meet at a bar or something. When I, say, when, I say, when I say a coffee date, I'm just saying that it's not, like, this full-blown date. Like, I'm saying it's just a meetup where we can actually in-person talk. Because I feel like that people are, women, could re- well, people, not, not women, can respond to you differently of a chat than they would in person. It's a little bit different. Well, you definitely need that interaction, yeah. that so face-to-face. You definitely need that. McDonald's before you roll out the red carpet. I mean, basically, that's, <laughs> Dude, that's, basically. that's no. it's a thing. <laughs> no, but no, but, it's really a thing. But for me, I'm like, I'm not going to do McDonald's. Like, <laughs> I mean, we yeah, no, no, I'm saying, right, right, yeah. Coffee, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's the pre- instead of going to dinner, instead of going to dinner, we're going to go to Starbucks. We're going to go get to know and see if we vibe. That's stupid to me. But I'm saying if we already vibe, then we just go straight to the date. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So if you're talking to this person on the phone or whatever, you know if you vibing with this person No, not. sure. But, but here's the question, right? Let's say, for instance, you meet somebody, y'all talk like a couple times on the phone, but you feel like, man, this is kind of cool. But I want to make sure, instead of spending another two weeks, three weeks talking on the phone, you just invite them out for coffee and do that in person. I'm not going to coffee. I'm not. You'd rather just spend some more time on the phone. First of all, I don't drink coffee. I'm like her. No. I'm not. You don't have to be coffee. He just shut my my, 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 my McDonald's down. Yeah. Cause he owns some eleven thousand dollars. Oh, <laughs> dude, let me tell you something. We we can we can go to the. I want to share that five dollars twenty piece. But I already know. But I already, know, but I already know. London, she's not gonna do it. She's not gonna share that five piece with me. I gotta get her a slushy. I gotta get her a slushy. <laughs> she gonna want some fries. This is, this is gonna be too much. What? Yeah. Dude, I'm but it's not spend... even a monetary thing. I'm That's... just messing with you. No, but I'm saying because guys always get caught up in that. Twenty dollars in McDonald's. Well, you can't twenty one dollars. I'd rather get a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a cocktail. Like, so you mean? No. So you, this is more so. I think keeping but no, it realistic. So you, we a need a bar. To drink. Yeah, we could do That's a bar. What I'm bar. We could do a bar. That's but no, problem. but I'm telling you. Right now, first we're going to White Castles. That's expensive though. The bar can get expensive. The bar can get, especially if it's downtown, dude. Eighteen dollars a drink. Let me ask you this, man. Y'all stressing me out. Do you? Okay. I mean, I'm just saying this is what we deal with. This is what we're dealing with. Individually, Dutch, you gonna buy some Mm. drinks too? I don't have a problem buying drinks. Okay. Okay. I can say this to you. I don't have a problem meeting at a bar. I don't have a problem with any type of date. What I do have a problem with is consistently having to sponsor a chick that's not interested. I get that. And that's I'm the saying, only thing I, I'm saying. She's taking pictures. You know, used before. Well, this is what they I'm saying. They're taking pictures of your food. They, they, they take you I, out on a dinner I, date. I, I get but that's, that's why I And said. then you don't even be in the picture. They don't even tag you. Yeah. But listen. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> look, I don't want no tags. Like, but, listen, tag. <laughs> but that is why I said I think it's stupid for yeah. men to be going out on dates one, two, three, four times a week, spending $100 on a chick yeah. uh, on dinner. That's why I, I think that's On different chicks or just one chick? Either one, either or. Multiple or whatever. Yeah. I need to make it clear I ain't been on a date in 10 years. <laughs> Man, I'm still married. I've been married for 10 years. Okay. Disclaimer. Say that again. <laughs> but now, nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't think, think it's necessary nah, to, I mean, to do that to But you don't hear somebody. that. You don't hear that a lot from So how do you, so as a guy, if I meet a woman, as you said, it doesn't make sense to do this. 
how do I still court this woman without taking her out on a date? Or without taking her to the bar. What do you mean? And spending $100 a hundred dollars on her just to, just to see her. First of all, there's you other things. What did you do? <laughs> pull up on her with the pint. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Stoke. Yeah. Hey, it worked for me 10 years ago. Certain circles that's not going to work. Yeah. No, like say for instance, um, my what whole, you drink? My whole point is <laughs> you, you don't go have to. speak easy or something like that? That's what I'm saying. saying. My work. whole point I mean, I is you don't have to be going to Three Forks or uh, Frisco. To... You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that. We don't that. have to that's, meet at the, the what wet I'm rift top. Yeah. But I feel like to get around that, I got to give so much personality first. Yeah, you're right. That is all this hundred dollars and all that. But sometimes you don't get the opportunity to give all this personality and get her to know you. Then she's fine. Now at that point, she don't care what y'all do. You could pull up with a pint. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you really, really know her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't really know her to get to know her, you're gonna have to like either take a long route that she might not be ready for, or you're gonna have to go ahead and spend a hundred dollars just to spend points. an hour or two to talk to her, and then she decide, now nah, I'm just gonna take this picture of this food and I'm out. My you are missing my point though it's not about it's we're not talking about tangible but it adds up that's the point so are you talking about up. like on one day if I do if I date once a week no, I think that's I, just me that's four dollars a month that's a car note are you are you saying are you saying that yeah. for you it's not about the activity it's about spending enough uh, groundwork beforehand to see if you vibe once you First of all, if I go out on a date with you, I've already determined if there's something there. I just don't go out on random dates with people. What? what? No, I'm just listening. Oh, to that. I don't go out with <laughs> yeah. random dates. I can afford to take myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't need a guy just to take me to nice restaurants. I can do that on my own. See, I appreciate women like this because mm. I, I mean, I literally I had I went out with this chick, and what I don't like. What I don't like is the um, the presumption that, like, how can I put this? I don't like it when women take liberties that they shouldn't take too soon, and a lot of times, such, just, as? such as if you do go out, butter. yeah, like like that, yeah, what? <laughs> like okay. like what happens is when I go, if I do do the bar date. Then she ordering double shots of Hennessy, or she ordering like she like order like seven drinks. Taking advantage that's of her the girl situation. called yeah. and she invited her like we yeah. at the bar. Come now, through. now yeah. when the when the now when the bill comes, she doesn't even like reach in the purse, and then you just like you know what? For me, I just she charge can front. It. She can be like at least yeah, front a little bit. Yeah, just at least. Well, see, front. I have a rule. I'm not gonna order anything that I can't, can't afford. Pay, yeah. I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. You know, like if I can't afford. What it. do these women exist? You've been walked out on before. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, my, my, I'm just saying I don't expect anybody to do for me that I can't do for myself. I'm not gonna bring up race, but let's assume that there are <laughs> other other races you that exist. Get a drink for your face. <laughs> With the white girls, yeah. no, no, no. I'm not saying uh, you know there are a certain type of women. I love my wallet. Oh, man. <laughs> that that will sponsor you a couple times before you have to sponsor them, even if you don't want them to. Okay. It's not a uh, generalization. I ain't never been in that position. No? But you said you don't mind paying for I don't really need a woman to pay a drink for me. Yeah. I just no, I just I'm don't want to be taken advantage of. That's the only I thing. Never yeah, it. but no. I will. I'll pay for it then. I'll take it right. If it's somebody that yeah. I rock with. Yeah, so when we going to dinner? You gonna take me to dinner? No, no, no. Why not? Because I'm not. You should go in. Your ass stupid. You should go in. My bad. But now, nah, um, I don't know. Um, that is something I, I definitely have um, had an experience with. Remember when you first came here? Yeah. Uh, when I was trying to figure out people to come to the podcast, I had posted something there on Facebook. And then people started liking it, so a name popped up. And I'm like, I should have my ass come to the podcast. So I called this girl that I knew from the pod, that I knew. I knew her from dating her once. Went on a date once. My mother's friend hooked us up, mm-hmm. and that's always weird, right there. I'm yeah. right? Um, cool chick, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We go on a date, and we uh, with the Cooper's Hawk. I remember. And um, 
and she nothing. She got her free dinner. She got her free dinner. That, that, she don't need it. She's already in. She don't messing. need it. You know what I'm saying? She's doing good with herself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Evan Folk Cooper saw one from Mercer. Nah, oh, you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about when you, you had to spend real money? <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? To me, Cooper's Hawk was that's that's that's, that's medium. Yeah, that's that's me. Medium. I ain't going. I ain't trying to do too much. You can go ahead and go some chill shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, this is just we going to Cooper's Hawk. We just going to chill. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like it was a long time ago. It's two years ago. But I want to play with the dates just because I got to pull some bullshit on him, right? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking my shit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in case I got to skew the numbers, nigga. <laughs> um, but no, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but nothing happened. Nothing yeah. happened from that. You mean, oh, like nothing, a second Another date, date or... Yeah. No second date, Did no you ask spark. You didn't? I was gonna say, oh, okay. was there even a chemistry? Yeah, no spark, yeah. no nothing. For some reason, after that, we became cool. Facebook internet friends. Oh, okay. And so now we've just been liking each other's pictures, commenting, and all that kind of stuff. She waiting on you to ask we her for a second date. We pump into. I think I tried to. <laughs> oh. I'm a dude, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said, fuck, I can at least get yeah, some. Yeah, right, right. I tried. <laughs> nah, ain't nothing. I didn't bump into her in clubs, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Whatever case may be. And what you doing over here? And then we chit chat, oh, share drinks. And we left, but it's never, at some point you realize there's nothing there with this person. We just cool. So, why, she actually was my last, I would say, date. Right. And that was some years ago. I ain't really just dated since. I'll get to know a person and go out with them, you know what I'm saying, from that point forward, you know what I'm saying, chill. What's the difference case. between the two? Date was, I don't know you, we're going to go out and I'm going to spend, which is petty in one way, $100. All right. But we put that hundred times four. Yeah, that's somebody's car note. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now that's not petty anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I do that time. I mean, multiply yeah. by twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Just that's in the pursuit of having a relationship. Nothing. Nothing. So I'm supposed to some well, game shit. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey Clark. Uh, so this is the question I have. Let's say, for instance, you go on that date. Let's mm-hmm. say it's only a hundred bucks. Well, let's say two, just to make a. Mm-hmm. Let's say you spent two, um, and you already know that it's really not sparking for you, but because you are somewhat invested, do you feel like that you have to keep going to get something back? Dollars? Invested. I'm just a little bit. Invested. Time, That's money. Stupid. No, mm-hmm. I'm not saying that this is what I believe. I'm just curious what other guys. So you think. want a return on your investment? What will be my return? No, then? I'm. I'm. I'm asking Regina? you. I'm saying. Do, Cause we already had this conversation. Cause you still gonna keep, you're gonna still keep wasting Waste resources. Money. Yeah. So I'm just wondering. Resources. <laughs> no, it's, it's true. But I'm wondering. I'm wondering if guys feel like that they have to get. I'm just wondering. Do, I'm just wondering if guys feel like. I'm just gonna liquidate. I'm just being affordable in my head. Like, ROI. You know, like no. No, I'm saying. Do you feel like that that people you know want to get some type of return on their investment before they mm. just ditch i feel like that not, and it may not be 200 bucks let's say it's something time energy whatever effort do you feel like the guys have to get something in return before they will let go what is the something in return whatever they feel is being valuable obviously you feel your time That's what I'm is value i can tell you think your time is worth <laughs> more than money Worth, worth something. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking about like sex and nothing like yeah. that. I'm, I would say, I was gonna say your time was, you feel like your time is worth money. But she said, less money. I said he feel like his time is worth more than money. Okay. Because to, I was gonna say money though, but. What's more than money? The way you speak yeah. about it, you know what I'm saying? There's time, there's money. What's more than those Well, two? I'm saying, well, well, for him, because it's like, okay, I've already spent $200. I'm willing to spend another two hundred dollars just to make sure. No, I'm not saying sure that this what? is. I'm not saying this is me. I'm asking a question. If mm. you're asking me, what I'm saying is I that I wouldn't. What yeah. I'm saying is that if I spend, I charge what I charge this is a game. Like for me, if if I feel like I'm not interested, I'm done with it. Like I can let it go. Okay. But I'm just wondering, do other people feel like they have to get something in return? For, for me, a good time is priceless. That's what I was going to say. Even, even if, even if I'm glad it pans out to be shit. Mm-hmm. Like, if we cool, we had a good, good time, time. That's good enough, yeah. Right. I ain't mad at yeah. it. Yeah. That's why me and old girl so cool. Are you yeah. saying, like, you didn't have a good time with this person? Or no, it was I feel just, like... That, it wasn't a chemistry, and you knew it wasn't going to move I feel like that, that there could have been chemistry. I had a good time, but... 
for me during this particular event, it was the I don't like it when I don't feel like when I feel like that uh, they're like just because we're out. She expects me to do X, Y, and Z, as opposed to just letting me do X, Y, and Z. Give me an example. Um, this is a first date. This is a second. A second date. She can't expect you to do shit. That's hey, what I'm saying. Show I need up to and be you. Like no, this. What, that's this, what I'm saying. Expect what? No, I'm saying like I like for instance, we were uh, we were out, and um, we went out to dinner. And then after we went to dinner, we went and played pool. We did pool. Then afterwards, she wanted to go to the movies. Um, so I'm like, okay, we went to dinner. We played pool. We went in the sugar factory. And we spent... You bought a bunch of drinks. You bought the lollipop. You bought the $12 lollipop. So, so I'm like... I was having I was having a good time. <laughs> but hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, we got... We got I want I want I want to break this date down. You said well, dinner. Hold on, look. I don't even know where. But dinner. This was on some other stuff. So cool. this, wait, this is all in one day though, right? This was the same in, day. this is the same day. Okay, so dinner, pool, and then movie. <laughs> yeah. They was out early than the motherfucker. <laughs> They started I'll give you that. They started at six. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was going to say two and shit. They was, it was Saturday. It was this is not Saturday. 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 Is that a good date? We started early. Is that a good date? It was the... This was I've a, never done it in my life. Hold on. Dinner, we I didn't mean, go to the we didn't go to the movie. She wanted to go to the movie. We did not go to the movie. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. it's cool. I'm not into pool, but no. The the point. I guess three of it. I heard three was big to me. Yeah, we we went to three two. Different that was my thing. Like That's my thing way, was though, she wanted to go to the movies. I'm like, we went to pool. Mm. We did dinner. Yeah, got, I'm gonna go to sleep. We <laughs> go to the movies. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying we ain't gotta go to the movie. And then if we do go to the movies, you will stand for it. She want me to pay for it. So for me, I was just like, this is a bit much. So I'm like, no. How many drinks she buy you during the day? None. Oh, yeah. Is she? So if she would have said, baby. let's go to the movies and I'll pay, would it have been a problem? I mean, if I feel, I mean, sure, why not? Is she giving you, this person, and this, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it slightly I can't hypothetical. Tell the rest of the story on this. I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm going to try to make it, uh, that's what I'm saying, I'm trying to make it a little bit hypothetical. Yes. Yeah. Is this person feeling you, giving you, giving you clues that she's feeling you? Oh, no. We had a good time. The vibe was cool. Everything was great. Hey, until pool. I until I said no to the movies. You said pool. Until she got a no. Yeah. Until she got a no. Food. That pissed me off. Pool. Pool. Sugar factory. Sugar, sugar factory. factory. Yeah. I've been to the sugar factory. factory. That's, that's two hundred dollars in itself. <laughs> so you about in about you about four seventy five in right now. You said four seventy five. It went that much, but yeah. No, okay. But so no, here, y'all, y'all didn't drink at the pool. My drink is yeah. I'm talking about between it's both of y'all. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. It wasn't four seventy five, but three. let's say let's say it's three, right? Okay, three. Right. But my my point my point is this, right? The reason why I did this is because we have both talked about like I work a lot, she work a lot. We was like, let's go. But then they end up it it end up being a I'm gonna have I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this by myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you cool, let's go do this together. So I was cool with that. This ain't a regular occurrence, like we we went to this event. We went to a bunch of stuff, mm-hmm. but I just feel like that when a woman starts to have expectations, or if you give her a no, or if you you know if she don't look at this and be like, all right, I already saw that he spent this, I already saw he spent that, or I already saw he did this and did that. That enough is enough. Was but, the but, date was the date over after you said no? The date was in question after that. After the no. She got attitude. She got attitude. Well, is there a group of people out there, a group of men? Yeah, and you may know as a woman. Is there a man, a man out here who? Oh, then this heifer told me. Ooh, did you? Oh, <laughs> hey, you should have wanted to mom dropping you back off. No, no, no. no. This the part. Do rag off. This the this the, this the part. This the part down. See, because when you get like this, then I get kind of savage in my own little way. But then this happened to have the nerve to tell me I don't like a I don't like a, what what she say uh, uh, I don't like a man who uh, no cheap man I don't like no cheap man I said you don't like no cheap man <laughs> I started laughing I already dropped 
Man, oh, that's Shari. Let you know what type of chick you was dealing with. Yeah, you should have been done at that yeah. point. Like, We're going to use this as a situation. She paid me back. On a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> What's that? You know what oh, that on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm, an 8. An 8. 8. Appearance? That's just appearance? Some other appearance. Yeah, Some we just talking about appearance. Some other appearance. No, if it was you a 10. Can't, you if this can't was a even 10. get to fucking 10. You can't even get to 10 with just appearance alone, bro. True. You can't even get the eight. Yeah, you can. You cannot get the eight. I'm just judging with appearance alone. No, if you're talking about being in a relationship, it's hey, different. If you just talking about shut how up, Quap. I'm just saying. <laughs> On my mama, <laughs> you can't get. Hey, ten is a lot. I'm a grown ass man. That's like now. five star general. <laughs> nobody gets the five star general in the military. It's yeah. there, but nobody gets it. I probably I don't know what ten. I really probably is. even say a seven and a half as opposed to. I the reason like what I'm asking good. is the reason why I bring it up is that if you felt like she was a teen, if this is your dream it, physical woman, no man, do you I can't keep do going? It. I can't. Do you go to the movie soon? I can't do it. But you said she was an eight, so that means I she had. She, that means she had a decent job. I'm just. Oh, she did have a decent she job. She had good conversation. She did have good conversation, and you was physically attracted to her. Yeah, that was true. That's an eight. That's an eight. That's an eight. That's an eight. Yeah. Mm. No. I'm taking it. Yeah, that's an eight. It's an eight. Now, now, it is. I tell you that motherfucker. If I'm not home, that's eight. Come on, boo. I'm kicking your ass tomorrow. You ain't did nothing wrong. Now, but do for eight. Now, do I let her? What leeway do I give her? Because it looks by leeway. Only for a little while. This is first night. Yeah. I don't want to mm-hmm. lose this. First yeah. night, I'm broke. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this hey. is this. You said you said what I that I'm trying to get to. Like this is what I'm trying to say. Like how much leeway, and where do you stop? Mm. That's my question. You could have paid for the movies. I could have to keep it going, but then it's like at that point it becomes just a smash. Are oh, you taking advantage of me? But. Because on the other hand, she might be accustomed to this type of shit. I know. Because now, yeah. now I'm petty. Now, exactly. So I'm talking about I spent three hundred. Yeah, yeah. And, and now you cheat because you talking about fucking hair. Cause you can't really put a price on a good time. Like if, if I can put a price vibe, on a good time. If y'all vibing, might just keep going. But 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 I could put. I mean, I can't put a price on a, a good woman. Like I give up anything for a good woman to be in my life. Women good the first day. No, that's yeah. no. <laughs> you talking about the representative? You know, Everybody got the representative. Right. Yeah. Everybody know the representative. All women good, got good it. women <laughs> the first night. Oh, um, <laughs> hey, they gonna tell you different. You gonna know different at the end of the night, like, unless she just out blatantly say some shit you don't like. like. <laughs> she a good, good woman. Didn't you say this was the second date? This was the, technically the second date. Okay. We, I mean, this was the technically we known each other, so we talked. So you know time. who she is, then? No, I didn't know that about her. You got friends that back her up. You got co-signers. co-signers. I, I have a friend of ours that's common, and she doesn't want to discuss either one of us because she's cool with both of us. So she's like, I'm not in. She's not on your side. No she, is she, her. <laughs> <laughs> she's not on your side. She actually, she's a womanist. No, she, bro. She put it work I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you. No, yeah, I, I mean, womanist. Well, I think that you did the right thing. I, I, I mean, some, at some point, I feel no like movie. you have to put your foot down. <laughs> no, no, no twenty dollar movie. Twenty. <laughs> Well, it was late by this time. It was about like uh, I guess about eleven o'clock. This is no Matt Lady. This is no Matt Lady. Eleven thirty, right? And y'all didn't go to y'all went to the one y'all can drink to. Y'all go to the one y'all can drink at and choose your seats. Yeah, you're right. It was actually that one. Yeah, this is another eighty dollars. Yeah, this is another eighty dollars you're talking right here. No, we're not going to be playing these games out here because what she would do is. Do this for a status report. Yeah, and then tell her friends. She'll take, yeah. yeah, she'll tell her friends. Like you, not, the next day, she's doing the same thing. Yeah. Now you popular with her friends, maybe? No? Hey, if that how that go? It, true. Hey, maybe this was advertisement. If you have that kind of money, you don't want to play with advertisement, bro. Hold on, what Nino, <laughs> Nino Brown say? What Nino Brown say? You in that business? Like, you in that business? Yeah, he was like, he wanted a chick that got a, a, a lead card. 
Nino he said that? Like, Nino oh. Brown, he was like, oh. he don't want no Kardashian chick. <laughs> oh. You talking about that, that Nino, Nino Brown? Yeah. Oh. No, no, we talk, we, we, not, 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 not Wesley. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. You <okay. laughs> lost me for a minute. I'm lost. No, no, he was not going. Nino no, never no. said no <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> not that. I don't know who that person is. My Nino, my Nino say, how the fuck you gonna get mad at me about somebody um? <laughs> Wrong. Nah, guy. Oh yeah, Nino Brown, the other one. Yeah, dude. yeah, right. No, for Damn, nigga said a lot should, of shit. Nigga shouldn't even be able to name himself Nino Brown. I, I'm surprised yeah, I, I remember that his name Nino Brown, but I, I watched the Kardashian yeah. rant. This yeah. funny to me. He's mad. He mad. He, he he milking that shit. Yeah. Right away. You know, the dude Kardashian. on the internet, the dude, the dude be like, grapes. This should not be on my podcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nino Brown. Like, the, the dude, you know what I'm talking about? Like, bro, you seen the movie, right? Yeah. If you can't, if you ain't this nigga, you can't fucking name yourself Nino Brown. That's just funny. What song is that? Oh, Jay-Z. Yeah. Okay, um... Single life. We got about uh, all my podcasts have been two hours and twenty minutes, so we got twenty minutes to go. Uh, <laughs> Taisa been go- I mean, London been gone for two hours. <laughs> yeah, she had been at this joint. Uh, I ain't never seen her this so, way. Cause y'all really have too a much, y'all thing going too on. Too much testosterone. So, we, yeah. I really, I really yeah. want you to talk. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let you talk. He uh, spent three hundred. They went What's about six places. <laughs> <laughs> you got to interview her. Smash on the first day. On the first day, hey, it's women out here smash on the first day. We just want to know. I'm just saying. Hussy, Hussy, you see? No, 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 you never smashed on the first day. Hold on, don't you missing out in life? Everybody smashed once or twice on the first day. I ain't never did it, huh? You ain't never smashed? Not on the first date. It's still on the No. Yeah, that's what it is. What's the first date? Right, that's what I'm saying. Well, okay. I think about 12. My definition of date is kind of different. Right. I'm just. Yeah, you smashed the first night you met somebody. Right. That's not dating. Right, right. Okay. That's, that's, not, that's dating. not dating. Well, when I was in college, well, that's that's not that don't count. I know. Isn't that, that, that worse than that? The, 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 the motherfucker that you smashed probably fucking spent zero hundred dollars on some drinks, and he probably didn't spend well, nothing. He was cute. Well, hold on. Well, if she smashed him the first though. time, he ain't even got to spend no money because she made up in her mind she wanted to do it. That's what I said. Hold on. Wait now. Hold on. I'm saying if you dated somebody, that means if you're talking about dating on the first, I mean, smashing on the first date, we've had a conversation, previous conversations no, before the first, on the first night. Date. You ain't had no, no that's what I'm saying. The first date, smashing on the first night, that's exactly what it is. Just smashing. We she only had conversation in that club in that moment. Yeah, you might have bought a couple so, drinks so, or whatever. So the smash dude don't get a second date. It's possible. But the smash dude doesn't have to be smashed. But he don't even really have to do nothing because yeah. he didn't already smash, so he didn't already fulfill. And he didn't necessarily have to buy the drinks because she made up her mind. She walked in with drinks. a bottle. No, <laughs> he didn't have to walk in. When chick, when chick, when chick, when chick smash on the first night, they make up in their mind they want to do it. You ain't necessarily got to do nothing. They may be caught up, though. They might get caught up. You caught might up. just be lucky. Because you, you start drinking or whatever. Yeah. Is there something yeah, wrong? Does a woman really feel bad when she has sex on the first night? Depends who you ask. I have some friends. Do the guy ever feel bad? Just like, hey, this is it. it just happened. Is it for the night? <laughs> if he didn't wear a condom, oh, oh he bad in the hey, He should feel bad. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Oh <laughs> no, no, my look, god. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Clark. My uh, one of my coworkers. He smashed his chick on the first night, and um, he came back to work. He was he was paranoid. And yeah. he, it was a, he, he, he came back. He was like, he was like, I gotta get checked up. 
<laughs> he was like, he was like, he was worried. So he went, we, uh, we went to Walgreens and bought one of those HIV tests. <laughs> And he was trying to hide it. You won't even know, though. Like, that shit, like, three months <laughs> later, you won't you still you won't know down there. It's a win like a motherfucker. Right. Like, <laughs> nigga, had a great night, nigga. <laughs> oh, Some man. chick. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just a great what night. What was her name? Day. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, her name was, her name was Amoeba, but whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not. What? Whatever your name is. I was like, you know what that name is? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, I don't know. Women, um, uh, I, I, I am curious to get the uh, woman perspective on some of these thoughts you heard all night because you kind of heard, um, because you've been so silent. Oh, dang it, shit. Yeah, you heard a lot of guy talking. So there's been a guy talk uh, conversation tonight. What does a woman feel about men like this? And it get worse. You might say something that might bring out more. Like what? Well, next I'm going to interview you. <laughs> you got three different personalities <laughs> in the like room. What, though? We us. About, well, y'all have talked about a whole lot. So. Do you want any of us? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Hold on. They're savages. <laughs> no, none of you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. He gonna take that me to fucking McDonald's. Right. He ain't gonna. He gonna spend three hundred. <laughs> I ain't gonna spend three hundred. Oh no more! No more! You learned the lesson. You learned the lesson. Well, never mind. Your ass is going again. Hey, go if home, if, if I got hey, to go, just start I start around eight thirty. Let it just be eight thirty. Eight thirty. Matter of fact, you might even spend two fifty. You know what I'm saying? Run out of time. I saved a couple dollars. Run out of time. You look sleepy. <laughs> Let me tell you, like you're tired, you might want to uh, lay it down. One you, thing right? I don't play with is my money unless I want to. Yeah, I, you know, money is relative, though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you if you got it, like, if somebody like my this three hundred dollars we playing with is thirty dollars to somebody else. No, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? So and I mean, it, and sometimes women. That's the funny thing about women. They down those dudes. Now nah, I'm gonna say that sometimes about women. They didn't dealt with all types. Like you, like these, 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 these. When I started getting old, and I started hanging around these people on TV a little yeah. bit. I started realizing all of them ain't Dwayne Wade. They're not fucking uh, Gabrielle Union. They messing with the same chicks we deal with. Yeah, let me tell you something. So that these chicks didn't seen some things that we can't show them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? They didn't see the guy splurge some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. They decided that they either they like the hell out of that and they go down that road and that that's always ends bad for them, uh, but not always. In well, 2016, it works for them. Different road and ends bad for them. Or sometimes they could be like, you know what, I like what he do, but I see what come along with that. Is that what you want? What a ball player? No, it doesn't have to be a ball player. I'm from? saying somebody that's gone. I'm more into chemistry. Hmm. At this point in my life. At this point, what point I don't is this? Need, I'm just saying, like, I'm older, I've dated a lot, you know, been in relationships, and some things are just not as important as others. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see after you've um, experienced some things. So, I'd rather just vibe with somebody more so than what they can provide for me a lifestyle. So, that's so vibing, so that means uh, personality. Is important to you. Yeah, chemistry. But you still have monetary needs, don't you? Well, yeah, but I'm just saying that's to me that's most important. Like, like he got to have I a job. Take, I mean, yeah. well, yeah, he yeah, has. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that's a fact. I told yeah. you, I'm not taking on no charity cases. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I can take care of myself, what? so like that's a bonus. What I if just, he ain't a charity case and don't got a job though? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a charity case. He, he, he doesn't have mama. a job. He wears Balenciagas. He ain't got no job. <laughs> he cracking cards. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm serious. It's motherfuckers out here that pull a Gucci hat. <laughs> what, what you mean? He, what, what, she what, got what, confused. Yeah, what, what, I need you to. If he don't have a job <laughs> and ain't asking shit from you but you. <laughs> <laughs> That means we're already doing something illegal? 
Is that what we're assuming? No. So where's he getting his money from then? Why does money matter? Because that's long as point. his bills is mm. paid. Because mm. as long as his bills is paid, he Tommy, ain't asking you, Tommy. you for <laughs> shit. <laughs> you dating Tommy? Problem. You don't know what he do. Well, you, I'm not you, you need to know. Problem. This could be a real Tommy. plan. You dating Tommy? You don't know. Mm. But okay, so at this point. We're going to assume we're not dating just to be dating. We're dating to go someplace, right? Long-term relationship, possibly marriage. So how can I get with somebody and not really know or understand the means of his finances? Hey, if you get with the ultra-rich motherfucker, you don't really understand the means of their finance. But you, you just know, know they ultra-rich. But right. you still would know what company. they did to what I mean. You still know. He might be well off. His parents I mean, it's possible he something. can be right. That's, it's possible, but it, it's important to know I, that because it's if we to get, come up and, re, and but what I'm saying is, if just say we get married, I need to understand and be confident that if I lose my job or something happened, he can sustain the household income. Oh. That's what I would be looking at. But off, 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 just. This is similar to that situation that we saw in Insecure. I know we saw it. You, you Marriage is a long way in well, between. I'm just saying, I in between, goddammit, uh, that uh, initial date. But that's something that now, still I, has to be not, considered, you, though. You, if this is the initial date, you hear marriage way over here. But that's still something that has to be considered. Relate, getting into a relationship in marriage life. Yeah, but that's still something that has to be considered, though. I gotta tell you, my whole financial not, background just. Uh, I'm just, not necessarily saying that right there see at that moment. Some chicks, they want to see your credit score. They want to see what debt you have. Hey, it's it's a. Hey, I would definitely recommend. Well, yeah, I hope everybody before they get married. Yeah, I need to see your credit background. That's <laughs> that's, that's damn near like I'm, the AIDS test and the, man. Yeah. That's business. That's like when you get married, it's motherfuckers get married. Hey, and I learned this shit. Like the hard My way. pops told me the same shit. But I was just gonna say, I when you get say. married, motherfuckers think like just because we love each other, we gonna get married, things gonna be mm-hmm. it's, like, nice. it's gonna feel this <clears throat> the day you get married gonna feel like the day before. Whatever that day may have been. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, shit, you gotta yeah, you my, know, my, my father said it was a, a. I remember him saying way before I got married, when I was just a business calling friend. myself yeah, in love. Friend. He said it was business. He said this is love. The love is fine. That's what gets you here. But it's after a while, that goes away. But after that, it becomes business. And it is right. You are trying your life with somebody. Yeah. And the actual factual behind getting married is legal. Yeah. Is a legal document. Yeah. It's legalized. You know what I'm saying? It's a corporation, a corporation. In to, to a degree exactly. that you're placing it in the state's hands. You're doing it with the state. Yeah. Like, like the articles of a corporation. Yeah, actually, you know that's with the couple. Um, I have a lot of, um, I have, I wouldn't say a lot, but I have Indian friends, right? Mm-hmm. And they always talk about it. This is a transaction between families. Mm-hmm. And the love part, they don't even have to have. Mm-hmm. That comes just from a commitment and being with somebody over time. Because in reality, like, I still believe that love is just a choice. So at some point, they choose to love each other. But they make sure that the business aspect of it is done first, and then the love comes over time. Well, we always do it the opposite way. We always make sure that the love comes first, and we don't even settle the business part. It just kind of, like, happens. And then people end up realizing. That's how they get us. That's how y'all, (laughs) y'all devils, that's how y'all get us. (laughs) No, I was just fucking with an apple in our face. That's how y'all get us. Hit us with the apple. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then the business go out the window, but I don't even know if that's even like uh, they get a business to your friend. Yeah, the the, the, the whole <laughs> how you say it. Uh, told me married for money first, love. Hey, second. do you know that married mar- for money first? Marriage is, but the, they don't say no either. The 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 quickest way for a woman to advance her business. status <laughs> is through marriage. Is getting married, like, man. But I mean, it's not necessarily also. I mean, it's also you right. Hold on, you right with that. What, married for money first, love? No, 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 no. What did he say? Uh, what he said, I agree with that. I think that's true for both. Explain it to me, though. Like, bro, if if a woman here, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And they look into that's the fastest way to advance. Take Their a chick that don't have a job. Financial status. <laughs> like, if they get married to a that's why you. I got you. Yeah. For, okay. Do you have why Kanye kind of marry Kim? Better to advance his no <laughs> bad example. <laughs> no, he no, he bad joke. He married, he married her because he wanted another hit album. That's what. Let's not even that. digress. Uh, Let's I'm digress. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I disagreed I two times already. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> Why Bobby marry Whitney? Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's funny. Huh? For who? We can't explain that, that to We can't that explain that, Bobby Barry. was more popular than no, Whitney at that no, point. He was. He was, no. though. With who? No, with Bobby, who? Bobby, right. Bobby was more popping yeah. or popular than Whitney with. at that point. Who? What you mean? With who? The whole with thing. us? Oh, you talking about white folks? Everybody? Not talking about Tola. Hmm. He was popular with us. Right. Okay. Bobby talking about Tola. Them. Little step I take. When he was like, what, yeah, "What's no. the time?" No, she wasn't there yet. She wasn't there. She was Dolly Parton. Kevin Costner. They want to tell what Kevin Costner knew. I'm just saying. It's fine. Yeah. She she was definitely she had more money than him. She was I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that's what he, that's what one of the things he said that hey, he could. But that's fucking go to a new name more yeah. men than a gas yeah. station than women. So not from your point. At this point, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But it is women. Yeah, that's what you kept doing. Yeah, yeah. he kept posting. This dude is on point <laughs> <laughs> immediately. <laughs> women that do it more uh, often. What about what about Nick Cannon? You, you need one. Nick Cannon. You need one example of a woman. Nicole uh, Murphy. No. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good one. one. Yeah, that's a good one. I go with that. <laughs> you talking about the, you talking about the white all them housewife <laughs> bitches. Oh, <laughs> the white bitch oh, oh, all men to call y'all bitches. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, the one who married the old man. Yeah. Her. Oh, I thought y'all talking about no, that's somebody else. Nicole Murphy, uh, Mimi. Who she married? She married Greg, and then Greg. What do you do? I thought he was. He had a box. Few I don't know <laughs> yeah. You don't watch Housewives of no. Atlanta? Oh, she got you watching that. Mm-mm. Yeah, she, she got, got you watching that. that. <laughs> I got called a fuss. Nene, yeah. Nene, 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 Google it. <laughs> Pull it out right now. We live time. Oh, she, <laughs> uh, she gets McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, Nene? Yeah, yeah. She, she a boss. Like, right. Once she, well, she got it, she, she, she. How she, she get on the bed? Huh? How she get on the bed? Off the back show? of him? Yeah. No, I don't know. So she, without she marrying she, him. She, she divorced him and got back with him, so I don't know. She the divorced him and got back she, with she him. She did some know. shit, bro. She, she did some shit. She, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Men do it, women do it, everybody do it, but women do it more often. Come up at off some of point in the relationship, marriage. the woman's gonna have to hold a man down. It's gonna happen. No. I think it's yin and yang. Because Phaedra just got rid of her nigga. Like you, you, Apollo, you got you locked up. Like, <laughs> you know, your ass out. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you hold him down? He was cracking cars for her to pay the light bill in his big ass house. They in. It should be one hundred. Yeah. How fade you look to you? Yeah. You dig it? No, not really. I ain't trying to. No. Do it. <laughs> you said nigga said. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm into light skinned women. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> she just no. ain't my type. <laughs> How you feel about Phaedra? Yeah, I don't. I, see, I, I, see, I, hey, I do. She got about 10 businesses and five degrees. And, oh, what's she? She's a lawyer. Mouth, man. That's She's a mouth. lawyer. I ain't watching show up. No attitude bad. I ain't watching show up. I ain't like attitude. She bad too. I don't know. I watch the show. It's safe to say. It's safe to say. Back to back to football. football, My old lady ain't gonna be mad with me (laughs) if uh, I link up with Phaser. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she gonna say some crazy shit. Um, She ain't even gonna listen to the podcast. (laughs) This shit's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That door right there. Yeah. Oh. No, not that door. Keep going straight. You can turn right there. Right here. 
Yeah. It was a bathroom break. I may or may not leave this in the uh, podcast. I don't know. You probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like a lot of editing. You probably gonna have to do, do a lot of editing, editing you've ever done. It's gonna, it's gonna be. Uh, this ain't gonna post till like a week later. Thursday. It's <laughs> gonna <laughs> come next week, um, or not. I don't know. Sometimes, um, definitely, um, I can see some points. This one has been. Did we did we get the point across? What point? I don't think you got a point across that you want to get across. I don't even know what that point is. What we talked about. So for me, this is the this is what I wanted to know. I wanted to get into the mind of um, a woman who's almost forty, and how it feels for her to be out in the dating world. Um, I, I understand. I understand from my point of view as a guy, but my perspective is different because I've been married before. Yeah. So for me, it's like entering back into this. For me, it's different. I mean, twenty one years. I mean, seventeen years ago. 15 years ago, whatever you want to say, is much different now than it was then. My question is, for the women that have not been married, what are they looking for? Like, how do you go through this process? What do you want the guys to do to approach you? Person with the vagina? Which we cannot call a male. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this is a term that's... I'm sorry, I did not mean to turn y'all sophisticated podcast into... (laughs) Because y'all was talking some other shit when I got here, but... We talking about vaginas. Come on, London. She has a name. What are we looking for? What your your perspective is a... uh, Damn, we... Fuck it, he already well, said it. 40 year old woman, he put you out here. <laughs> I just thought about what he 40. said. I said almost 40 year old woman. They're 25. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> not bad. Um, but no, I mean, I'm as a woman, say. and I've been trying to pull this out of you. you you're not. Um, well, I'm. I think you're over mailed or something like that. It's too much guy talking. I mean, that's you. all y'all talking about. Y'all personal experiences. So it's nothing I can do. And we really want your to. personal experience. Ooh, you, are you in the ninth time? hour? Huh? In the ninth hour after we've been talking for no, we've been, we've been, we've been trying to get we, 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 we can can edit this down. Yeah. Get I'm you just in saying there. now. This is Hollywood. We can do whatever. <laughs> Don't act like you ain't tried to pull. No, you that's in. not what I'm saying. It's midnight now. You want yeah. to hear what I have to say? It's we asked show, you about this a whole bunch Damn, of times. It is midnight. That's all I'm saying. Now y'all want to <laughs> ask me these questions. Didn't we ask her the entire time? We got this on tape. We definitely did ask. I've asked you. Why take back? We will. Um, this is London. <laughs> I've asked you several times. What was what, what? Okay, so you want to know my perspective on dating? Yes. And right now, yes. at my age, yes. And I'm gonna make it easy for you. Specifically, what have niggas done wrong? And I said niggas because it's twelve o'clock and I've been drinking. <laughs> um. What do they do wrong? What do they do wrong? Wait. They play. It's a lot of game playing. Hmm. So it's when you meet somebody, it's one way. You get to talking, it's another thing. So you think you're on the same page. I mean, on the same page, you have the same expectations. Mm-hmm. Then it changes, which is cool. But you're still doing the same thing to lead this person to believe that we still on the same page. But in actuality, you are not. Mm-hmm. Do you have an example? Like giving personal examples right now, but that's what we do. Okay. Oh, with you, make yeah. the hypothetical pretty lies. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> well, your I'm just curious. Examples. Okay, I'll use somebody else. Okay, so for instance, I know somebody who's been dealing with someone for like two and a half years or some change or whatever. That's his. And I, I offered it to him like it wasn't his. <laughs> it's all good. Two and a half years. <laughs> They've been vibing or whatever, building towards a relationship, and somewhere along the way, he decides he doesn't want to be in a relationship. relationship. Yeah. Which is fine. You you have the opportunity or you have the right to change your mind. Right. But I just feel like you should also let that person know that y'all are no, no longer on the same page. So now, I well, she's wasted time. How does a guy change his mind? No, I'm saying did he not tell her? Right, but you're still doing the same thing. So it's like she can't even pick up on context clues. Because we're still doing the same thing. So then when she no, asked that... Bullshit. I call bullshit. Something changed. Something changed. And she ain't willing to acknowledge it. You, we still Something hanging changed. out. You still spend the night over my house. Was they, still, were they exclusive? They were just kind of like... 
dating. Yeah, sure. You know, it was like we not so rushing then, to this. So then, why do you say something changed? That's what, cause the reason because when she brought up the like, okay, what's going on? And I have a problem with that too because I don't feel like the woman should bring up like, well, what are we? Because I feel like if a man is really pursuing you and want to be with you, he gonna he's gonna um, let you know what you. He's gonna let you know. So that, did that really mean that it changed? That's why I'm asking because I'm it changed like, because he no longer wants the relationship. But I'm saying, but if they weren't exclusive, how did they have a because relationship? Because he. Because initially, that's what he wanted. So now it's just like, I don't want a relationship. Oh, you're saying he came in this, I want right. a relationship. Right, he came in, I want then a relationship. She, Let's at the feel time, this. she's like, well, what's up? Are we going to be exclusive? He's like, I don't want to be in a relationship. I mean, right, after dealing with yeah. each other for... Uh, I, I mean, I, but I, he's still, still doing the same, same thing. He, yeah, he was but, cool. But y'all yeah. still doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. But for me... I felt like she kind of missed it because if we've been dealing with each other for like two years and he hasn't said anything about it. I mean, he said everything about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you still going along with doing, doing the same, same thing. thing. Well, I, to that I would say that um, a lot of people don't know that um, I want to be in a relationship is actually a really good way to get vagina. <laughs> Forty four, forty five, forty six. It's also a good way to get you a lot of drama. Drama, yeah, wow. dude. So can you, can you some read, guys, drama. some guys still run the I want to be in a relationship game uh, off top because it's going to get you vagina because maybe they wouldn't get a lot of vagina for the first half of their life and, and now all of a sudden uh, this they found this way to just continuously like hey. I, I, I want to be in a relationship. I a relationship. <laughs> oh, oh well, let me give him a vagina and foster this uh, feeling that you want to be in a relationship. That's going to get a lot of drama. You know what I'm saying? So some guys are going to shy away from that. But some women have now adapted, let me give vagina, to and that's going to make a relationship, yeah. which is the antithesis of that. Uh, so it's both of that going back and forth, but to speak to more, to keep it about you, um, you want to say something? I want to say something. <laughs> I was waiting for Any 30-year-old plus motherfucker out here telling these women they want to be in a relationship just to get the kitty cat? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Hey. You can get it. It took me till I was like. Without even doing it. It took me till I was like 29 and a half. That's all you want to do. Yeah. If you be 100 with them, they cooler than a motherfucker. Like, boy, you can get the kitty cat and. Uh, we got one time. <laughs> And not very hey, good drink. You can get the kitty cat. Mm. 29 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> you should fuck up. First of all, <laughs> you I'm can get the kitty cat. <laughs> hey, she gonna be 100. Hey, keep it one. Hey, bro, I done lied to so many women. <laughs> I, I love you. I want to be in the It, it got, found myself in real relationships, bro. <laughs> and it was like, you ain't got to lie. I ain't never had a lot. You had a lot game before? I ain't never had a lot game. I never even, a lie even, game. even if it wasn't no, initially yeah. lying, you, you might have. You did lie game. I know it, it, it wasn't initially lying. You might have really liked this person. You just wanted the back. But after it was, you wanted out and really didn't know how to get out the shit, so you cheat. <laughs> so now they like. You just get the fuck out. <laughs> you cheat. You just move but, the fuck but, out. But, 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 but. But the cat good, right? So yeah. you want to keep over here. But that's why you cheat. No, nah, you know. And then they catch you up cheating. And then it's like, then you, you could have just told me, like, give me the option to I make the decision for myself. Like, tell me you, what you want, and I'll make the decision whether I want to fuck with you or not. Right. Yeah. And I done had more than one woman tell me that. Like, don't make the decision, look, decision for me. One hundred with me, and, I said, that's and, what I said and I'll make the, the decision to fuck with you. Okay, that's one hundred. Mm-hmm. I respect that. That's respect. I think that's what, and that's why I was thinking my mind. I, I've been thinking for some time, and I had like some. But that's how I deal with dudes. Like, don't come trying to run no game on me and all that stuff, because that's gonna piss me off. Because it's gonna come out at some point that it's just game. No game can be game. Hmm. 
Uh, honestly speaking, that's my game. Hey, I don't bring no My game, game is no I game. I, I just true. got a story. I don't got no game. Yeah, I, I got a story. I liked it when he said it. I was like, so I have this theory. No, my game is no game. It's, I'm not, it's no yeah. trick. And you it's, would, oh, you so fucking real. You, you so cool. You would fall into the category I call the deception of the good guy. Because I can say that I can say that to the He's a fucking oh, hater. No, no, no. <laughs> Look at this mic. No, <laughs> Nobody no, makes theories on me. No, you cannot have a theory on me, man. I'm saying I consider myself in the same category. But yeah. It's the guy who is upfront, honest, and real, and who doesn't necessarily want to hurt, but end up doing a lot of damage. I got a different way of putting that. It's this, I, I, I don't, I wasn't having you put it to theory, I'll say potential. Sometimes, the sure. thing about potential, sometimes it's women, everything. women have a, they see potential in you. See, women, and they, they just they jump off the edge. And they push you back That's out. what I'm saying. Now you don't want, this is all about money. Yeah. And, and they this all talking about, about good me. guy. I checked back. out. Well, you, she checked out check a long time ago. Long time check ago. back in, London. Fuck that. Will me back in. <laughs> <laughs> Will me back in. Um, um, but yeah, I I I I say that, that, that I think potential. Do what I asked asked this question before. Um, you say you don't fuck with potential, right? Who me? Yes. Not at this. I notice I curse a lot more. With the, uh, What's podcast the age? Going on, I've been drinking. <laughs> My age, thirty eight. You thirty eight. Oh, you a young 38. You a shawty. What you mean? You a shawty. Bucky and shawty. When we say potential, you were talking about... Motherfuckers with no cash, but got <laughs> potential. I just want to be clear. <laughs> no. 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 And that's not it? Uh, Because she's not talking to nobody with Car no cash. Car cracking shawties. Innovative potential? Yeah. <laughs> that... Potential? Somebody who has potential to be a good guy. Potential good guy? to be a good guy. A good guy. husband. A good husband. Every nigga got potential to that. Well, what? Good. Every, every nigga. To some chick, you will be. To some woman, got a potential. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, is that, that what you mean? Oh. A potential to, you potential got potential, to be a good bro. guy. Bro, don't, don't let yourself down. Yes. That's what you mean? You potential to be the so man. You made me a that right now, she, no, no, no. But Potential to be the man that she's looking to be with. Be with. Like but he's not like current. He's not currently there. This is the kicker, though. This is the kicker, though. Men change. Like no, it's not just men. Everybody no, changes. No, but men change. Like to be that. Like if. If they, find, they, if they if find, find you the, the right woman, woman yeah, no, that's true. The I'll woman, be whatever. They will change. Yeah, yeah. that's one hundred percent right there. I'll be whatever. Okay, so I guess when I answer that question initially, I the definition I was thinking is different. So you're saying when you say dating potential, you're talking about somebody who isn't where you want them to be at that moment. Mm. Yeah, I remember that question that I asked you, and I said I remember the conversation. That's why. I'm, yeah, you said just said something telling. You said dating potential. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm talking about somebody. That seems to be potentially the type of person that you would be with. Oh, well, yeah. If I seem like it. Yeah. Like, that's Because how else are you going to know that they are not? So you give them a chance to. You give them a chance. Wrong. Potentially a second date or a third date. Right. Because that's how else would you know? Hmm. How else would you, you know? potentially a third date. You <laughs> yeah, I didn't go to the movies. <laughs> potentially. No, nah, not. Nah. Potential injuries and easily made kinetic. Um, I don't know what to say. How to sum this whole conversation up? I think this has been a lesson in how men think. I think so too. But it's it's, it's disappointing for me because I wanted to know how women think. Mm. So at thirty eight. I think the eight ball of MJG <laughs> Space Age <laughs> Pippin came on. Sure does. We ain't seen that ass pass. I had to get it. Hey, so, so, yeah. what happened to 
your younger years. <laughs> what you take on, it stays with you. New day, new age. New day. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Come on, sing uh, that shit. Fuck it. I'm not going to. We don't know the thing. Yeah. Hey. She, she vibing to uh, like 8 Ball and MJG right now. Yeah. New day, new age. I think that's the name. I'm mad because I can't think of the word. Space age pimping. That ain't, that's space age pimping? That's space age pimping. Well, yeah, I mean it. new age. That's part of it. Yeah, that's the hook. That's, that's so funny. That's what they say, a new age? What they say, new days? You and I, me and me. Situation is sticky. Sticky. Damn. Hey. Uh, really? On the podcast? Get uh, loose. Get stick loose. me. Lick me. Yeah. 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 It's funny. It says she skipped all the words, but the ones that she right, did right. say it. But why, why her legs crossed now? I actually cross know now? that whole time. Your legs went across the whole time. My legs been crossed the whole entire time. This is how I sit. I'm a lady. Oh, I'm a your lady. mouth is saying no, but your mouth is saying shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what we got? Rewind, goddamn it. This might be. This might be a segue. It but it's funny how, because um, okay. we gonna end that that that, that conference rules happening. Uh, I think I'm gonna check that on my own because I don't see a way right now. I'm gonna listen to that shit and I'm gonna figure out how to sum all that up. So but what? the conversation we just had about relationships and so forth and so on and we're gonna have to have you figure out a way that you can reverse this conversation but we're women and we're gonna shut the hell up i i think that's an insight into women's thinking just let women talk and you just look we do it all the time it has to be it has to it, it definitely needs to have the guys involved yeah, I mean, same way you were involved with this one. But, but you weren't. Yeah. You weren't. You, you didn't. It needs to be more women. There you didn't. really wasn't a place for me to really. This conversation would have been different if you, you weren't here. not a real opinion. <laughs> it would have been different if you were around three men. Then. No, that's You definitely not had. You, you, you would have um, been going in. Like, but yeah. it wasn't one of those types of. Because we didn't, because we didn't say nothing stupid. It right. wasn't even Wait, that. You what? talking Wait, about your experience? We touched the podcast yeah. before we had put it on. The oh, you said <laughs> no, 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 we go. And hold on, but <laughs> hey, hey, Clark, my choice. You know the thing that's funny engaged is, then, huh? is that I don't understand I why she hasn't been married. Because she ain't crazy. Why? Right. You scared? Right. Well, I'm because sure. my idea of marriage and somebody else's idea of marriage is two different things. What's your idea of marriage? I want old school marriage. What is old school marriage? I mean, you yeah. for me, me for you, we in this that's together. Isn't that what regular marriage is? It don't happen. No. Nah. Or are you talking about you, you cook you and clean do. and do the kids? I'm. I mean, if you say old school marriage, I'm just wondering I'm if you're talking about traditional roles. She talking about, God damn it, you go to work. She talking about Florida. I am not talking about that. James. Uh, James. James. No, basically, in it for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, so, so the one time you do it, like, it's going to be it. Right? That's it. Ain't no divorce. I mean, mean, that's how I went in, too. Anybody do I went in it that way, uh-huh. too. Hey, no, bro. No. Because she giving the motherfucker a chance. It's a difference. Because you can go in it that way and get a divorce. But she right, said, like, I'm giving you a through. chance. Like, look, if we do this. We got to do this. Yeah. It's forever. forever. Well, I'm going to act a whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about like she. That, that bitch you don't like, that that, that we think is hor- a horrible person, that's what she'll turn into if you don't care. back up what you get into. That's, I, that's what I think she's saying. Is that what you're saying? That's, that's essentially what I'm saying. Essentially. Essentially. Yeah, but I mean. This nigga proud of himself. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know women, out. nigga. Hey, I, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. But I understand that. Because no, my wife ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. We said, Jack. We said like, for years we would never get a divorce. And then the last year we got divorced. I mean, so for me it was like we're, we're never going to get a divorce. We're always going to work. We're always going to work. And then. Uh, then it was like, well, it's we'll same. try to work. We'll try. Well, maybe no. it's not gonna work. No, well, no, no. this is not gonna work. You just work. 
Like, I think like the path that y'all took, he missed a part of that. Yeah. The path that y'all took is inevitably going to be divorced. Oh, sure. You know what I'm saying? That's me, right? They opened the marriage up to say, we can do what we do. Oh, hey, that man. was that was after fifteen years. Fifteen. We've been married. Give her a taste of some more. Fifteen years. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out. Ugly truth, pretty, uh, pretty uh, lies. Uh, what's the ugly? What's the? What's, what's yeah, I might, yeah, I might do that. Oh, uh, God, ugly truth. What's the ugly truth here? The ugly truth Niggas is, is crazy. She hell. has to give the ugly truth. I have to give you Yeah. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Niggas is crazy. <laughs> when it comes to they women. The pretty lie is women sit there pretty and don't got shit to say about <laughs> it. <laughs> my ugly truth is, that's your ugly truth, my ugly no, truth. No, that ain't my ugly truth. I'm just my saying. ugly truth pretty lie is that all men are stupid and all women are crazy. That is so safe. That's safe as hell. What's yours? All women ain't crazy. I drove a bunch of them motherfuckers crazy. You drove Actually, crazy. that's that's real talk. Dudes do it all the time. I think that that probably would be my ugly truth is that... Like, I done made bitches bipolar before, bro. Oh. Like, take self-medicate. The ugly truth is that this is hard. And the pretty lie is men contribute to the craziness of women. It happens all the time. This is our fault. I don't no. want to do uh, Ugly Truth, else. Pretty Lies Podcast. Hey, this it. is the ending. We out. Uh, the rest of this is not for the podcast.